senses where we are. Okay? We are at this conference center that we know. But where are we is really? Do we know that? You do not know that until you have been totally integrated and been totally centered then only can one know where we are. To reach the highest form of meditation is not the destruction of the senses. The senses will remain, but reaching that higher stage, the senses will be guided differently. We'll have a totally different perspective and uh, what it would take away from you is the craving, the mother of all miseries. And how can I know that I am beyond the senses? You cannot know. You cannot know that you have transcended. Hmm? You can only judge it by comparison to what you regarded a certain object to be before hmm? enlightenment and what that same object seems to you after enlightenment. And how can the finite mind ever comprehend that which is infinite? Hmm? That knowledge of enlightenment is not confined to the mind because it cannot be confined. It cannot be imprisoned. Self-realization. Self-realization is when the self realizes itself. It remains at self and exists in its own power. Hmm? So therefore we call it self-existent, non-dependent. And yet in that non-dependency, you enjoy everything that you have done before in a totally independent way instead of a dependent way. Hmm? That existence experiences itself. There is no outside experience to judge it, to say that I am self-realized. There is no outside power to tell you that you are realized. Your measure could only be that calmness, that laughter bubbling in you by the cup that flows over. Hmm? And when you observe these things, you will know hmm, that you are existing in existence by existence itself. Do you see? To that energy that is forever neutral is just there. And in its stillness it has its functions. of making you live, making your senses do the things it wants to do. Hmm? But when we create blockages by our senses, by our rationalizations, by our minds, then the energy finds blockages and it is not given full event to act on its own and be itself. Hmm? That is being. 
from the source of yourself. So the whole spiritual path is for one to remove the obstacles of the mind, not destroy the obstacles, but to remove them from your path and push them aside. So there is no destruction at all. Everything is eternal. Nothing is ever destroyed. It is only dissolved into its original elements. Hmm? But the energy is still there. Hmm? And that energy exists by itself. Hmm? And that is the meaning of true existence. Hmm? When we say, I exist, what do we mean by that? Hmm? We can say, I exist. Because your mind is functioning and your mind recognizes the various functionings that is within yourself and outside yourself, in which all put together boils down to the ego self and the ego says, I exist. Hmm? Yeah. The ego has existence. But it is not an independent existence. It still has to rely on an outside energy for it to function. Hmm? And what happens here is that the manifestation which we are and that which we call existence, the manifestation merges into the manifest. Hmm? And then the real joy comes of being here. So when you enter the kingdom or the realm of self-existing effulgence, when you become that fire that requires no fuel but burns by itself, then you have transcended the mind, the ego, the senses, and yet in possession of them. But it will be used wisely in the name of divinity. It will be an offering. Mm. An offering to divinity. You offer yourself to divinity. And when you have offering, there's no suffering.